Mike, uh, losing your left tackle this week the, the, to protect Ryan and get off to the start that you all did, how important was that to be able to, to stack up 24 points in the first half? Yeah, it was amazing. You know what I mean? It was great. That's what the expectations are. Converted there at the end where we were able to get a stop, punt, and, uh, and get some points there. Uh, that's kind of what we were looking for. We wanted to take the ball, went down, scored, um, you know, and then just could never get anything going in the second half. And the momentum, you know, really just switched. And they were, you know, able to, to convert, you know, hit X plays or whatever it may be. But, you know, we got to finish better. But I love the way they compete and fought. Um, you know, give give the Raiders a lot of credit, but but I gotta you know give our guys a lot of credit too. Did, did you sense a different like sense of urgency or, or aggressiveness from Derrick Henry running the football today? I mean, I think that's just what we expect. You know, I think that that's what we expect. And you know, Ryan did a nice job of getting them the football when they got out of there, um, and, and Derrick was able to secure it, turn and, and and pick up some nice yardage. And you know, when we were able to you know, check it down to him, um, you know, I thought he ran hard. I thought he ran with a purpose and. But that, that's what the expectations are for, for us uh, with Derek and Derek for himself. I know that. You know, he, he wants to be that type of player. How does this game come down to a play? I mean, yep. how, how good is it just to find a way to Find a way to make a play. You know, find a way to make a play. They did, you know, give them a lot of credit. Um, the way they competed, you know, a couple times we had it. Uh, but in this game, it's not over. And uh, even, you know, Hoop going out there and going to get the football there on the, the onside kick is, is huge as well. But, you know, Dylan was able to, uh, make a play there at the end, you know, just a couple weeks ago. Uh, he wished he had probably a play, you know, opportunity at that same play. And it was cool to see him be able to tip that ball and help us win. Speaking of having a play, how big was Byers' interception that turned them away in the red zone where it looked like they had a sure three? Yeah, I thought it was, you know, a good change up and, you know, change the look on them and, you know, just try to you know, get it back in there. And you know, we're lucky that they tipped it up and had some bodies there. And, you know, those, those are, you know, being able to, to, to stop them in the red zone was, was a huge part of today. In particular, there in the, in the second half, Mike, you talked about the offense. Anything in particular that was? I mean, we'll just have to look. You know, I mean, we kind of got behind the chains a little bit, and you know, they 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 brought some different looks. And again, we had to be you know, anticipating some things would change at halftime, um, and we just weren't able to make productive plays on first down, uh, and, you know, and, and extend some drives, and then obviously the turnover there. But you know, we battled through. With the red zone six, uh, D success that you alluded to, what what does it take to have that the kind of success that you guys had? Well, I think it takes some discipline. You know, I mean, we, we kind of had who we had, and you know, we were trying to take a couple guys away. Um, did that, you know, but to be able to get down in the red zone and, and force some turnovers and not panic, uh, which is fantastic. You know, hold them to, to some field goals and get a turnover. You know, it's going to go a long way this year if we can play red zone defense like that. What did you see from Terrence Mitchell during the week that convinced you you could rely on him as much as you did? Well, you know, I mean, I think that's just the, the approach that we took last week and, and prepared him, and, you know, we'll have to see what it looks like this week. You know, every week is a different week, and, you know, we, we've got to find some guys that can go out there and um, and cover and challenge and, and compete, and uh, we'll, we'll keep searching, and, and we've got some guys there that we'll give another look to this week. Are you looking for more confidence from Caleb, Mike? Is not uh, just trying to get guys ready to play in the game, you know, just trying to get everybody ready on a short turnaround after, you know, what happened in Buffalo, just getting back and, and making sure that uh, we decided who we were going to go with and then get them ready with the limited amount of reps. So we'll evaluate this week, Jim. How you, did you like the way the defense played? You gave them a lot of yards. You held them to a couple of, third, couple of field goals, and then, of course, you got to stop. Um... Yeah, just the X plays, you know, the X plays, the, 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 the deep penalties, you know, the fourth down conversions. It's like, man, it could be, it's really good. And then it's, it's really, you know, not very good. And so we have to figure out what that is, is we're relaxing or what. But there's some opportunities in there where it looks like defense and it looks like we know what we're doing. And then other times there's lapses. And, and we have to eliminate the lapses. When you get that rushing attack going the way you did, how much does that help make play action that much more? It does, you know, and it does. And, and it helps with protection. It helps, you know, stopping these guys that knew it would be a, a, a challenge. You know, got a lot of respect for, for Max and Chandler and, and everybody over there. Um, but I think for the most part, our guys held up and you know, really did a nice job taking care of Ryan. And, you know, the other time he did a nice job stepping up and finding Nick Westbrook, I thought, on a big conversion. How good was it to get Robert going early? Because it, it almost seemed like you, you passed to, in order to be able to run at times. Yeah, there were some times there. You know, we just stand balanced early. It felt like there was a lot of opportunities there, Todd and I and, you know, Tim and, Keith put together the run plan, so give you know give those guys a credit on a short week, you know especially you know getting back late. 
um, and, and things kind of complemented each other. Now, you know, we'll have to get back and figure out, you know, ways to duplicate that, you know, going forward and especially in the second half. Like how big of a loss is Taylor for the season and how, how did you, what did you see from Dennis this week getting all those reps? And, you know, that, uh... Yeah, I mean, Dennis was in on the second play of the game and, you know, did a nice job last week against Buffalo. Um, we need everybody. So every, every injury is um, as a loss, but it's also an opportunity for somebody else. And, um, you know, I'm sure Dennis had some, some plays he'd like back. He competed, and you know, I know we'll continue to work with him and, and get him into our program. How valuable was it the way Ryan was getting the ball out so fast with his decision-making? Well, being decisive against a, you know, a good front is important. Um, you know, I thought the receivers, for the most part, were, were pretty decisive, had some separation. Um, and, and then helped us in the run game. So you can't sit there and hold it all day, uh, but I thought that there was a good plan to take away those guys and, and give us a chance to throw the football. Anything that led you in particular to, to throwing the ball so often to Derek today? Like, see I think this just, just was there. I think Ryan was just doing a nice job of taking you know, what was there. Uh, they were getting out there, and the umbrella was opening, and you know, we've had other games where that happens, and so staying disciplined. Uh, and getting it there. So those are those are huge plays. And you know, Derek is just catch it and you know get going forward and fall forward, take care of the football. You know, you're looking at nine yards. I know it's tough two weeks to start the season. How much could a win maybe help to build some momentum? I think it'll help everybody. You know, I think it'll just help everybody. Um, you know, losing losing sucks, especially when you're used to winning and you have high expectations. Um, I'm excited for the players. I really am. I, I know that they. You know, probably deserved one earlier in the season, and we didn't end up with it. But you know, you only get what you you know, fight for in this league. And I thought they fought for it today, and you know, I'm happy for them. Ryan, how nice to have that start by the offense today, and and how nice to see the defense uh, hold it up there in the second half. Yeah, it was huge. You know, full team win. You know, took everybody today. You know, we got got rolling there early as offense. Uh, we're efficient moving the ball. We were running the ball well. Uh, guys are making plays in the pass game. Had plenty of time to throw the ball. And then obviously defense there at the end. Um, coming up big, you know, they overcame some things and our defense just hung in there, hung in there, kept battling, and were able to make the huge play there on the two point conversion. You talk about that protection, but you were getting the ball out quickly. How well did it, be, it was it you getting the ball out, them protecting you? You were sacked only once late in the game. And uh, Chandler Jones left here with five sacks a year ago. Yeah, it was a kind of combination of the two, right? I mean, it kind of works together. Uh, if we can win quickly on the outside and get the ball, then great. And then if uh, it takes a, a few seconds to, to get through a progression and have time to do it, you know, we're going to find somebody open on the backside. So I think we had a little of both of that today where, you know, we got the ball out quickly sometimes. And then a few plays I had to progress to my third, fourth read, and I was able to do that. Your overriding feeling maybe leave here from an offensive standpoint that you guys got off with such a good start or clicking early or maybe some things you need to clean up in the, from the second half? Yeah, it's both. You know, I think you can you can take a look at it and say it's, it's both of those things. We we came out, moved moved the ball well, efficiently, scored points early in the game and consistently, um, took advantage of the situation at the end of the half, got points at the end of the half, which was huge. Uh, and then. You know, come out and didn't execute well enough and didn't do things well enough in the second half. So um, we'll take a look at it, see exactly what caused it. But um, you know, I think we can build on what we did in the first half, clean up some things there in the second half. We got the ball rolling in the right direction. And that was our my message all week is just come out, find a way to win this one game. And we'll get the ball rolling in the right direction and build on it. The play action, it seemed like that was very effective. What was kind of the key to being able to find success on the or you had guys getting open. You know, I think um, we did a good job giving me a second to throw up front, and then um, we had guys getting open on the back end. You know, whether it was uh, Traylon, Robert, uh, Jeff caught one. Uh, we had guys that were were hitting their spots and hitting them in the right times. And, and when we do that, we're usually efficient. What, the, what led to Derek? I don't think he had a catch the first two games and what like five, I think today. Just how, how plays went? Was there a design to get him the ball a little bit more today, or how did that, how did that work? Uh, we called a couple screens, obviously, which, uh, which gets him the ball. Uh, but the other ones, uh, I think, you know, they were just soft. You know, they were uh, dropping out of there, kind of taking, taking away some of the down-the-field throws for us. Um, but when they do that, it opens up those underneath, those underneath check downs. And I think Dontrell had a big one on third down, and then Derek, you mentioned, had a few of them. So, um, you know, to have guys who can catch the ball and then you know, do something with it when they catch it underneath is huge. Working at Derek, he always a guy who always runs hard, but it looked like there was maybe just a little bit extra sense of hammering away for, for Derrick Henry today in, in terms of the run game. Yeah, he was running hard. You know, I think that's the Derek that we've all 
come to uh, to know and to love is is the guy who's you know breaking tackles, running through tackles, uh, and getting those tough yards. So, um, you know, good to see you know Derek's back. When he's running like that, like how much can you guys really rally around it? Because it seems like you guys really do. Well, it's huge. You know, I think you know when you have a, a muddy run right where there's not a huge hole there, it's kind of you know, contact at or around the, the line of scrimmage, and he's able to pump his legs. Offensive line is able to push him, and it turns into a five, six yard run. You know, those are huge. They'll start to stack up over the course of the game. Wears down the front. You know, we stay efficient offensively and in shorter yardage situations. So, um, you know, it's it's huge. Whenever you, you know he's running that hard, it, we talk about finish on a daily basis, and that's what we like to see is, is the pile going you know, downfield. And when you see that happening, you start to build that momentum and, and a lot of confidence is gained offensively. You talk about just finding a way. I mean, how tough, looking back, maybe how tough those first two weeks and how much you hope this is a win that kind of sparks you moving forward? Well, it's huge. You know, obviously not the way uh, we saw the first two weeks going, but um, proud of the way we responded today. We came out, we played with an attitude, played with an edge, and um, found a way to win. At the end of the day, that's all we were asking ourselves to do. That's all we were asking each other to do. And uh, proud of our guys that we, we did that. Brian, I saw you and Robert talking after the interception. Was that just a matter of miscommunication or a route issue? What, what happened? Yeah, you know, just a little bit of timing thing there. Um, made an adjustment and, uh, you know, weren't on the same page. Aside from that, he was productive today for you. And uh, we're talking to Nick, and he even called Robert kind of the catalyst for the passing game. How important is it that he gets involved for you to be successful in a he did a great job. You know, I think he, he moved around a little bit today. Uh, had him some on the inside, had him some on the outside. Um, you know, had him down the field a couple times uh, on a deep crosser. He made a big play for us, and on the backside route on one on the right side. I'm thinking of that he made. So he was playing fast. He's he's getting DBs on their heels, and um, you know, I have a lot of confidence throwing him the ball. So uh, of course, we want to continue to do that. <coughs> I guess, I guess for starters, just what a relief is that when you saw the ball fall incomplete on the on the fourth down play, and then the, and then when the onside kick was recovered. Yeah, I mean it was a on a two point play. Um, I was trying to go out there and make a play. I know I had eighty three. Um, I was honestly trying to pick the ball off with one hand, but it just kind of tipped off my hand. But you know, just one of those times at the end of the game, which you got to make a play. Uh, you know, I think they did a great job of just keeping the ball alive. I don't know how many plays it was on that last drive, but it was a lot. And, um, you know, to end the game and get a W at home, it just feels great, man. That type of feeling in the locker room, that's something that we want to continue to feel and just keep building on that. How frustrating was it, Kevin, too? Right? No matter. For all, the ex for all the ex plays you guys gave up today, a lot of success inside the 20. Um, kind of what, why was that? Why, why were you guys able to yeah, our red zone defense really showed up today. Um, we understand in certain games where, you know, explosive offense, they're going to drive the ball down. Obviously, we don't want to give up X plays, but, you know, when they get down there, you know, we have to get a stop. And even on the sudden change, they would get a stop, force field goals. So it was big for us as a defense to pretty much get out the field in the red zone because, you know, obviously our offense kind of stalled a little bit, but, you know, we kind of put it upon ourselves that, you know, sometimes when the offense, they're not going to score every drive. They started out the game three straight touchdowns. So uh, they gave us a little bit of cushion to be able to go out there and try to play some good defense. How did you guys feel at the end of the game, Kevin? I mean, you guys were on the field a lot there in the second half. Of anybody dragging it all towards the end trying to, <laughs> trying to pull, you know, pull No, I mean, yeah. Guys were hurting. Guys were tired, but, you know, just kept preaching, hey, let's one more play, one more play. Uh, and even, you know, even though they scored the last uh, at the end of the game, uh, just kept preaching, hey, just one more play. All it takes is one play to make and we can win this ball game. And that's what it ends up coming down to. You know, sometimes these games aren't always going to be blowouts. They're not going to be, you know, they're always going to be tight. They're always going to come down to a last possession. Right? If it's the offense on the field or defense, we just happen to be out there last and uh, make a play to win the game. Although you got the win, is it a little frustrating having another one of these second half comebacks and, and what's happening defensively? Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, personally, as the defense, uh, I feel like we, we came up big in big in big spots. Obviously, like you said, we gave us some X plays. Uh, there's some things that we, you know, we still got to clean some things up. But at the end of the day, it just feels good to get a win. It's very hard to get a W in this league. I don't care who you're playing on any given Sunday, you can lose or win the game. So it's uh, just big to get a win, and uh, we just got to continue to build on that. You talked earlier in the week it's about this being your 100th game. Had a pick in the end zone on that, made a play at the end. I mean, how? How crazy is it that you've been in 100 of these now, and how good was it to make such an impact in this one? Yeah, just grateful and thankful. Um, like I said, to get to 100 games, it almost feels unbelievable. 
don't even doesn't feel like 100 games, but like you said, to get an interception, to make a big play uh, down in the red zone on the goal line, and then obviously to make a play at the end of the game. Uh, definitely a special day for me, and um, just a special moment. You know, these moments I'm going to cherish. Uh, you just never know how many more you're going to get. So just happy we was able to get a win. I was able to make a play to help the team win. Anything to say about the... Uh... Big time, big time win, man. I was super excited, obviously, watching the game last night. You know, happy for Stock, proud of Stock, man, and uh, just those guys battling. And obviously, nobody gave us a chance to win, so we went down there and blew, blew them out pretty well. So I'm happy for them, and I'll be down there Friday night rooting them boys on on our and my Jersey retirement ceremony uh, Friday night UTSA, who's a good team, so going to be excited for a really good game. How difficult is it for a guy like Terrence Mitchell coming in after a few days, played a ton of snaps today? It, man, it's, it's the life of the NFL, man. It's, it, it is tough, though. It really is tough. I mean, like you said, come off the street. Uh, he was obviously in New England during training camp, but to come into a whole new system, you know, he, he's lined up on my side for the, pretty much the entire game, and I'm having to make sure I'm communicating with him a lot. We, we run a lot of different defenses, man. This defense is very complex. Different situations cost for different defenses, different techniques. So, um, but like I said, he's been in this league a while. Uh, I know he'll be able to bounce back. And, but, you know, it, it's just tough, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, um, that's something I'm going to make sure I'm continuing to talk to him. Like, But he's, he's been in the league. He understands how these things go. So uh, I'm sure he's happy that we got to win. What kind of relief was it? You saw, saw Hooper on top of the – when he recovered the onside kick. I was telling him to get down on the ground. I don't know what he was doing. Like he caught the ball, and I almost thought he was about to keep going. I was like, bro, get on the ground, get on the ground. And he finally dropped to the ground. So, Because uh, I felt like if he had stayed up, because like, I was trying to cover him up, and I didn't want to get smacked by somebody because he was, you know, standing up trying to run. So happy he finally got to the ground. <laughs> no problem. Thanks, Kevin. Get some satisfaction not only from the, the win today, but, but your involvement both in the pass game and, and the, the amount of yardage you were able to, to get on the ground. Yeah, it was hard winning this league, and um, happy that I was able to contribute um, to a great team win, and um, you know, let this moment we'll care for it. You said the sky isn't falling, and it's just a little adversity, but the uh, sense of urgency kind of increased. Do you feel that's the way you ran today with the heightened sense of urgency? Well, I was trying to take advantage of plays and go out there and get what I can, and um, keep moving and drives forward so we can score points in the end zone. The efficiency of the run game on the whole, though, Derek, does it just come down to improved execution across the board? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that's what I've been preaching all week is, you know, it takes all 11 and us, every, every man doing their job just so we can have success in the run game and be able to make big plays and, um, you know, score touchdowns and do the things we need to do to win. I know every game is a grind. I mean, how, how draining was this one? So many big plays, you know, especially down the stretch. What was it like when you saw Hooper recover the onside kick? Um, you know, I'd be happy to get a win. Like I said, it's hard to win in this league, and um, they make some big plays in their end, and, you know, happy Hoop was able to catch it so we could, you know, um, get in a victory and be able to get a W. How much did the pass game, like the throws to use, a couple big shots down the field to Robert Woods, how much did the pass game kind of help open up the run game today and provide that balance that maybe we missed? Um, you know, just, I think, you know, just, just being available, um, catching, Getting what we can, and you know Ryan making good throws, and you know seeing what he sees, and you know taking advantage of each play. What were your thoughts, Derek? You guys obviously had the great start, the great first half on offense. What do you think some of the reasons were it didn't go as well in the in the second half? Um, um, just didn't execute, um, watch the film, see what we need to do better. Uh, um, we just didn't had that same momentum we did in the first half and the second half, and you know we just need to be better. You know coming in, coming off a half. And when we're moving the ball and coming in, we're not really having much success. You've got, got, you got to win. What's the challenge with four of the next five on the road and trying to duplicate that success away from here? Um, take it one game at a time. Um, and that's all we can do is focus on being 1-0 each week and we'll get ready for each opponent um, and, and getting better on all three phases. So, you know, just got to take it one game at a time. Did the offense miss an opportunity to, to stop this one out and put it away? Um, I think we would like to uh, finish better and the game better, but you know, we got a W. Um, I think it's stuff you, you learn from you know, as a whole and then continue to work on and get better at it as the season goes on. So like yards after contact there, did, did you feel anything differently today? It looked like you were getting a ton of them after first hit. I wonder if you felt anything to that uh, idea. Um, no, just trying to run hard, finish strong, get north and south and break tackles and do what I can to help us move forward.
This is when you feel like you guys can build off of and you maybe use some momentum going into next week against Indy? Um, I mean, that's all we can do, Mr. W. Um, and got a, a division opponent, so, you know, just enjoy this one. And then, so next week, get ready for Indy. Some of the guys said that, you know, when you're playing the way you, you were today, they feed off of that and they rally around it. Coming into a game, is that something like, do you put that on your shoulders to be someone that set the tone for everyone else? Um, that's always been my mind since I've been here, and, um, you know, and hopefully I was able to do that today. And I'm glad it gets guys going, and, you know, I just try to do that each and every day I come to work, and, you know, I'm out here on Sunday. Four out of your next five games are on the road. How important is it that, like you said, fix what you need to, go back, look at the tape, make improvements, but also continue that momentum over that long road game stretch? Yeah, I think um, I think we'll get too overwhelmed with the uh, you know the games being on the road. I think we just need to stick to you know what we do best and improve. Watch film, um, pay attention to the details, the little things that Coach preaches about, and work on those throughout the week. And you know, be who we be and go out there and play each and every game. What was your vantage point on the two point play, and how much of a relief was it when you saw it hit the ground? Uh, very confident in the defense. Um, uh, this guy's you know. Have, have resiliency and um, sure each and every, each and every week, and, and we got the guys out there that, that, that make plays, and you know KB and all the other guys do what they need to do to you know stop that two point.